let's find the percent composition of Cu2S with the name of copper one sulfide. Step one for percent composition problems is find the molar mass of the compound itself. I have two coppers here. Each copper contributes 63.5, two 63.5s, along with a sulfur, which contributes 32.1. Now I'm aware that my periodic table is terrible. Use as many decimal places as your periodic table has. 2 times 63.5 plus 32.1. My total molar mass of copper, to, of copper sulfide here is 159.1 grams per mole. Now, percent composition is you saying or showing how much of the mass was contributed by each of the elements inside of it. There's only copper and sulfur here, so those are the only two I'm going to write here. And out of the 159.1, the question is how much of that was copper? Well, it was this chunk here, the two 63.5s. And how much of it was sulfur? Well, it was that one, 32.1. These are the things you're going to type into the calculator to get the percent composition. 263.5s out of 159.1 give me a fraction 0 0.79824. And similarly, the sulfur here, 32.1 divided by 159.1. 0.20176. Cool, this is 79-ish percent. This is 20-ish percent. I'm just gonna point out for significant figures, you'll have to figure out how many sig figs there were in each of these numbers. Now my periodic table only had three significant digits for copper and three for sulfur. When you add numbers together though, you carry forward the number of decimal places. So this number actually does have four significant digits. But then in each of the calculations here, that number with only three significant digits rears its head again and same here. So to round this properly, we're going to take one, two, and then the third digit. It gets rounded down because what comes after it is less than a five. So this is 79.8% copper. And here, 20 point, that's the third significant digit. The number after it is five or more. Well, it's more than five. So that means this one gets rounded up and it's 20.2%. Great. The percent composition is 79.8% copper, 20.2% sulfur. Your numbers will only vary here because you probably have a couple more decimal places than I do. But hey, you did it with me. You can do this. Best of luck.